Hey everybody, it's your boy VG Race here, welcoming you to a wonderful segment of the ILE Sports Podcast called Standard v- Deviation. A segment where it allows someone like me, who gets distracted in a very long format, to stay on topic and to give you great insight and energy in a small condensed package. Today's story we will talk about Standard Deviation will be, be E6 game, Gaming, powered by Coca-Cola, an e facility being built in, a, in the Six Flags Yes, the Texas theme park. This is this this story should, this should be should be a lot of fun for all those in the south area Texas south area of Texas. And that being said, let's dive in. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a picture of the one of, of the wonderful E six gaming facility, Roger by Coca Cola. Is it Coca Cola? This facility would be a state-of-the-art esports facility built in a theme park. This facility would be located in San Antonio as a partnership between the University of Texas, San Antonio, and Six Flags. Um, Six Flags theme Six Flags theme parks. Specifically for this one, Six Flags Fiesta Texas. This would be a state of the facility. Is it being built, like I said, in the partnership between the university and and in the theme park, this will be this will be managed and internship by Roadrunners Gaming, the student or student register student organization, the park management, and open to the both the community, Six Flags guests, and students. That being said, let's get right into some of the pros that are going down this evening. So. This is there are six, no oh, seven. There's seven key features that we want to talk about real quickly. It will be an event stage, so guests will be able to feel a, a competitive environment with a five v five lineup. When it comes to computers on a live stage, gaming there will be 50, 50 usable, rentable for time game console game gaming PC systems. Built all customly built, professionally custom built with 4080 graphics cards, 280 monitors rates, p- keyboard mounts, and all peripheral. You will see you will you will be seeing updated F is a food and beverage, including bars, chargeable seats, a storefront, and retail storefront with retail spaces for people to try things out. You will see a live streaming station which allow for content creators to go in there, stream live from the park. So y'all, yeah, well, they don't miss a day in content, and it also be able to stream live stream events as your tournaments are going down. You also have the Zagoza Theater, which would be a sixteen hundred and one seat facility that can transport to being a big a, a, a big a big arena to show these to show the finals of an esports event, or be able to transform itself into a facility where you can host larger tournaments, such as a Fighting a massive fighting game tournament, or God forbid, is it this the world is sim racing, massive sim racing events? Either way it goes, you have a, a city that can transform up to a stadium, so seating for a finals to a facility that can host a whole bunch of gameplay going down at once. That being said. All that being said, the last feature mentioned in this, it, looking at next-gen consoles and a console gaming station with five console gaming stations. Now, the live stream station does include live stream equipment, such as a stream, a stream, a stream deck, professional microphones, mixing boards, voice changers, lighting, and and it's a, in, a, in a private room. So, probably some good soundproofing there too. And a Coke in the in the Coke VIP lounge, which basically turns to a players only lounge that allows for players to relax and be able to watch live stream gameplay in a, an environment away from everyone else. There's more details we find out on sixflags.com backslash is it Fiesta Texas. If you want to find any more details, as there will be launching more details throughout the year. This is a great that being said, this is a great combination. Of working in a private, working in a private partnership with university, with a university, allowing for the community to benefit, allowing for the community, community benefit, any benefit, schools, to be, school students to benefit, and general guests. 
by having the students intern, they'll be able to they'll be able to they're able to they have a resume stacker to say they can get the work away into an industry that seems to be more closed doors. You have is it the park can save money on staff running the facility because guess what now you have these students doing it so it means you only need like a manager so you only need like one manager to just run the store and the rest of the kids can pretty much run it from there and is it is it or is it is it, is it that way they can focus on just booking these events while the students try to host their club but they can have the club activities they can host little tournaments hopefully. Fight, fight to use that to fight their team from a club level to a varsity level, and hopefully team work with the rest of schools in the conference that be joining next year, the American Athletic Conference, and join up an esports league inside of there. That being said, this is this could be a big big thing, and it could show the rest of the traditional industry and hospitality that esports is here only here to stay. But now that the innovation of having a venue like that for those who may have to be at a theme park, but may not want to be, may not, may need a time to be away, to sit down away from other of the traditional rides theme park. It may be a great thing for them. Like I said, this should be a very interesting. We'll hopefully find out more throughout the year. That being said, if you guys like, if you like what you saw in the content in this video, please hit the like, the like, the like, and the share button. Go ahead, go ahead, and hit, go ahead, go ahead and hit subscribe. And um, nevertheless, I thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, my name is, like, once again, my name is Ian White, also known as VG Race. Again, you can find me at twitch.tv backslash racecrown21, creator on the IE Sports Podcast, King Arena, the great King Arena, King Arena himself, uh, twitch.tv backslash, I, is it backslash call underscore me king. Or on YouTube as the Eye on Esports page on YouTube. That being said, thank you guys so much. Really appreciate it. And y'all have a very blessed night. Peace.